Hello friends, welcome to the cool Vedas, that's Vedas cool. In the last episode, we saw how Lord Vishnu beheaded Rahu. As it was Surya and Chandra who blew his cover, Rahu and his lower trunk Ketu is furious with the sun and moon. So, Rahu and Ketu swallows them whenever he gets a chance. This came to be known as Grahana. The sun and moon, when swallowed thus, they would themselves wriggle out of the Asura's mouth. When this began to happen very often, Surya felt very disgusted. One day, after wriggling out of Rahu's mouth, Surya was very angry and he thought, I told upon Rahu for the benefit of all the Devas, but now when Rahu swallows me, None of the devas come to my help. I am feeling so frustrated that I want to destroy everything. Saying this, he went to the western mountains and started increasing his heat more and more. The earth and heavens started to burn in Surya's heat. The rishis who got very worried went to the devas and told them thus, Look, O devas! In the middle of the night, there is heat everywhere, which is increasing with the passage of time. This is filling everyone's heart with terror. It looks like the destruction of Triloka is near. The devas hearing this panicked and took the rishis to Brahma. Bowing before Brahma, the devas spoke thus, O Brahma Deva, what is this great heat tonight? The sun has not even risen. For sure, it seems he wants to distract the whole world when he rises. Seeing the devas and rishi so worried, Brahma told them, Yes, Surya indeed is prepared to burn the whole world to ashes once he rises in the eastern mountains. But don't worry. I have thought of a solution for it. Saying this, Brahma appointed the large-bodied Aruna, the son of Rishi Kashyapa, as Surya's charioteer. Brahma told the devas that Aruna with his huge body sitting in front of Surya would act as a shield, blocking the harsh rays of sun from reaching us. On Brahma's instruction, Garuda took his brother Aruna on his back and flew to the sky and placed him on Surya's chariot. Aruna thus staying in front of Surya as his charioteer absorbs all the fierce heat radiated by the sun. He thus saves the world from being destructed by sun's angry rays. Early in the morning, Aruna along with his lord Surya punctually rises, painting the eastern sky to a beautiful red color. This is why the reddish-orange sky before sunrise is called Arunodaya. This was the story of Arunodaya. Now, what about his brother Garuda? Do you know that Garuda was born to replace Indra himself? Who is this who wanted Indra replaced and why? Let's find out. Please like, share and subscribe this channel for more Mahabharata stories. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Thank you. Take care.